Hello, thank you for joining us here today. In this video, we're going to learn how to use webhooks and pixels inside the Ringba platform to configure custom revenue. With this configuration, you can use the post back webhook option for converting your campaigns using criteria like call length. For this example, we will show you how to configure targets in your campaign and routing plans to convert on a duration of 90 to 120 seconds. Let's jump into how to set it up. From the sidebar, navigate to the campaign or routing plan for the target you want to configure custom revenue. Scroll down to routing plan and click edit on your selected target. Click edit and set convert on to post back webhook and click update. Next, we'll create a webhook that can be used to convert calls. On the sidebar, go to integrations and click webhooks. Click create webhook. Enter the webhook name and enter a call token and revenue token variable that will pass the call ID and revenue back into Ringba. Click the create button and copy the URL to use in the next step. We now need to create a pixel that will fire our webhook URL and convert the call. To do this, navigate to integrations, select pixels and click the create pixel button. Input a name for the pixel and for the fire pixel on option, choose finalized. Next, paste the webhook URL from the previous step. It is important to note that in all circumstances, the call ID parameter must be call inbound call ID. This makes it possible for Ringba to correctly match and attribute the conversion with the call. When you add the call ID parameter from the token dropdown, it will be appended to the end of your webhook URL. Make sure to double check that you have properly matched your tokens to the corresponding variables in the URL. Call revenue is where we input our custom revenue amount. For this example, we will make this amount $20. Before we finish creating the pixel, we'll add tag filters to align with our conversion criteria for custom revenue. In this example, we want to fire the pixel when the call length is between 90 and 120 seconds. So we will need to use two filters using the call length from Connect. When you're finished adding your tag filters, hit the Create button. Before we move on, we'll create another pixel for setting a different revenue when the call length exceeds 120 seconds. We'll follow the same steps we used to create the first pixel, but with two key differences. First, we'll update the call revenue amount in the URL to a different value. For this example, we will use $35. Second, we'll use a different tag filter that will fire the pixel when the call length from Connect is greater than 120 seconds. With our configuration complete, our final step is to add the tracking pixels to our campaign so that they can be used live. Navigate to Campaign, click Edit, and scroll down to Tracking Pixels. Click Add Pixels. Under Select Existing, find the pixels we just created in the dropdown and add them both to the campaign. Thank you for watching this Ringba tutorial. If you have any more questions concerning Ringba, pay per call, or call tracking, go ahead and visit www.ringba.com to get in touch with a Ringba expert, and we'll be happy to help.